Hi there, it's Ivan and you're watching Puzzle Guy channel. Today I will show you my attempt to solve Euclid for Nick puzzle. This puzzle is the third in a series of Euclid puzzles designed by Dr. Volker Latusek. I've solved two previous versions of this puzzle on my channel. If you haven't watched those videos, click right here. Both puzzles are amazing. Both puzzles uh, have different solution and I'm expecting that Euclid for Nick is gonna have different solution as well. Even though this puzzle looks a little bit similar to uh, both previous versions, at least the frame in all three puzzles uh, looks similar, but they have different uh, size. And this puzzle has seven parts, uh, which you have to remove from the frame and then figure out the way how to put them inside in such a way that no parts will be sticking out like you can see right now. And all of them are gonna be inside the frame. Now the puzzle is not solved, this is not the solution, it comes like this uh, and you have to remove the parts and then try to solve it. I think this puzzle is going to be very difficult, probably it's going to take me at least one hour to solve it, but since I have some experience in solving Euclid series, maybe uh, I will be lucky and will be able to solve it a little bit quicker. But I can't predict, we will see it at the end of the video. Some people may ask why this puzzle has its name Euclid for Nick. That's because the first uh, puzzle from Euclid series uh, was solved by Nick Baxter and he found 22 solutions of that puzzle. Dr. Volker Latusek was a bit upset uh, since he thought that that puzzle uh, has only one solution and he decided to create another one that is definitely gonna have only one solution and name the puzzle after Nick Baxter. If you like Euclid for Nick puzzle or you want to try uh, both previous versions of this puzzle, I will put links to all puzzles in a video description. And if you want to see my attempt to solve the puzzle, keep watching the video. And now let's try to find the trick which was designed by Dr. Volker Latusek to make this puzzle different from two other Euclid puzzles. As you know, I've solved original Euclid, Euclid for kids. Both of them were great puzzles. They have probably similar uh, design, uh, at least uh, the shape of the puzzle. There is a box with parts inside and you have to fit all parts inside. Both previous puzzles uh, involved rotation of parts. Uh, so this time probably it's gonna be something similar, but as I've been told, this puzzle is supposed to be much more difficult. And this one has only one solution. So. Let's start the stopwatch and see what I can do. First, I think that I have to take a closer look at each part. We have three parts like this and they are exactly the same. Yeah, they look exactly the same. And we have four parts like this. They are exactly the same, I think. Yeah, they are exactly the same. Okay, so now we have to figure out if this parts are exactly the same. They seem exactly the same on this side, exactly the same on this side. Okay, they're exactly the same. Ah, no, okay, they're different. This side of this part is a little bit longer than on this part. And that's all? That's all what makes these parts different and make this puzzle difficult to find solution. Okay, so first what I have to figure out is how to how to put this, uh, what shape is gonna be uh, inside the frame. So how I have to put these parts together and then I have to figure out how to fit this shape inside the frame. So let's see, I have a frame and I have to find if I put these two parts like this, they are not gonna fit. If I put them like this, they're probably not gonna fit. If I put them like this, seems like they're gonna... Okay, I think that if I put these parts probably like this, I will be able to... Oh, not like this, like this. I will be able to fit them inside the frame. So let's see. I can put these two inside. Not a problem at all. I can put this part inside as well. Okay. And the last piece, I have to put it here. But okay. 
this part is a little bit too big to fit inside so okay i have to figure out another way yeah it is too big okay maybe i can put here this part since they are very similar but the the uh, this part is a little bit shorter and probably it's gonna fit inside and the parts inside are moving stop there and i think it it almost fits almost but not all the way okay this part is a little bit too big as well okay so there is no way i can fit it like but but i can fit it like this okay maybe that's gonna help me since this part is bigger i have to put it next maybe like this and i have two more parts no i can't put it like this since it's gonna stick out a little bit but it's supposed to be like this part below the piece of the lid okay and don't see any other options okay and if i try to put it like this it goes inside i can fit these both parts okay and maybe no there is no maybe okay and i don't have enough space just for one piece okay i think that this shape looks like something that i can fit inside let's try to do that so i'll start with these parts i'll put these two inside first goes this part then i'll put this one inside next i can put this part on top ah okay now i can't put this part okay i'll leave this part aside maybe i'll start with this okay that fits just perfect and i have four more parts but i feel like it is impossible oh i can fit this piece and i have to fit something right there oh maybe i can do it in a different way so this piece i can move up i can put this piece down all the way inside okay now this piece ah this piece doesn't fit that is not good i didn't expect that i thought that it's gonna fit nope okay maybe if i put this piece this probably gonna fit let's see okay this part fits inside pretty well okay and i have three more parts left but i'm not sure if it is even possible to put them inside yeah this one is too tall i can put it like this but then i'm not going to be able to fit one piece again okay not the solution these two parts right here and this part is going to be here oh i think i think that this is something this is something that is going to help me to solve the puzzle i think it fits from all sides okay now i have to figure out the way how to put it inside so i'll start with this piece obviously it can be removed like this up and you remove it 
The next piece is going to be this one. I can move it up and remove it. But then I have these two parts that I don't think that I can remove them. I have to figure out the way how to put them inside. And there are three more parts on the bottom. This is a tricky one. Okay, so let's see what else I can do. There is some space on the bottom and I can move this part to the left and I can remove this piece. Okay. And what's next? I have two parts on the bottom and two parts on top. And I don't know how to remove them. Since I can't move this two parts aside, but without moving these two parts, I can't remove these two parts on the bottom. Okay, I'll try to put them inside if it is even possible. So these two goes inside, then I can put one of the parts. And yep, and there is no options how to fit this piece. One hour later. Ooh, I can rotate these two parts. I thought it is impossible, but I can rotate them inside the box. Okay, if I can rotate those two parts on the bottom, maybe I can do something about that. Okay, let's try again. So these two goes here, this goes here. This is gonna be here. I can remove this one, then I can remove this part. Then I can slide it to the left, remove this part, and I have two parts on the bottom. And if I can rotate them on the bottom, I can probably remove one of them and then remove the second one. And then I will be able to remove these two parts. Okay, so let's try. I'll put these two parts inside. Now I have to put this part and I have to hold it and move it below those two parts. Hey, not like this. Okay, something like this and this part I can put next to it. Oh no, I don't think now it is ruined. I have to try again. So these parts, they have to go out of the box. I have to put these two parts inside. This goes first, this goes second. Then I can put this part inside. Flip this like this. Okay. And why the bottom part already moved to the wrong place? Okay, again. That is quite a challenge. You have to do something on the bottom, but you can't see what you are doing. Okay, so this goes here, this goes here, and this part right in here. And I have to move those two like this. This goes here, okay. Now I can put this part here. And now I have to try to... Oh, okay, I have to move this up a little bit. And I have to try to rotate the bottom parts. But how to do that? That's gonna be quite a challenge. Oh, that was not so difficult. Okay. And... What was my next move? 
the next move I have to put some parts so this part I will put right here okay now I can flip it to the left and the bottom piece will go to the left I don't think you can see anything inside but at least I know what I'm doing so now I can try to put this piece if I didn't make any mistakes now and I think that I'm not going to be able to do that now yep I think that I've made a mistake somewhere and I have to figure out what was the mistake I think that this piece is supposed to be on the other side okay let's try I'll put it down there now I can move all parts here yeah and I think that now I will be able to put this piece inside <gasps> yeah okay done one hour and 29 minutes that was a really difficult puzzle it took me a lot of time to figure out the way how to put all parts inside and the trick is amazing I think that I've spent more than one hour juggling these parts without knowing what uh, to do how to put them inside but actually I think that I found the correct shape pretty quick but then I had no clue how to put all parts inside but but when I found the trick I've been able to fit them inside so it is third time when I'm solving puzzles from Euclid series and it is third time when I'm amazed and I really enjoy solving these puzzles so Dr. Volker Latusek uh, third time in a row made something really incredible and I really enjoyed solving this puzzle as well as two previous versions of Euclid puzzle. If you like Euclid for Nick puzzle and you want to buy it, link is gonna be in the video description. And if you enjoyed watching my video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload new video. See you next time.